the tape was brand new, but there was no shrink wrap on the box. However, the Columbia TriStar Home Video stamp was still attached to the tape, so it was never uh, used. And came with an insert as well. Print date, 33rd week of 1994. I scorned a lot of National Geographic tapes. And they're the first ones I ever gonna own in my collection. This one's a little faded, but I believe it's the 40th week of 1994. There's some marker writing on the tape label. And there's a name on the case, but this is now my tape. Some numbers down here, but no print date. And the front does open up, which I'll show you right now. I didn't realize this tape had numbers on it. That was uh, this tape right here that just had numbers. How did I not see that? Oh, another one. How did I not pay attention to that? Oh well. This doesn't tell me anything, so I'm not going to worry about it.
Yep, this is the original copy of Thomas Gets Tricked. This is the 1990 release. And there was also another one from the late 90s. 1995, I guess. And the top's blank. And this case wasn't in the best of shape, so... I had to do some repairs with scotch tape. And now it's a little hard to get it out of the case. There are some random printings under Bonovio print date. September 23, 1996. What's the Buena Vista initials? These are the DVDs I bought from Goodwill. You know, that's the Texas. By the way, it was the newer location since the old one closed down last year. And this was my first time ever going into that Goodwill location, the newer one. Found some good stuff. So not bad. This DVD's in pretty good condition, so don't need to show the back of it. And yes, this is a former rental from Hastings Entertainment. Now for this one, not too bad, but I'm going to still fix it up anyway. I have this DVD. And I broke off the uh, little snap things from the case. This one's also not too bad, but I'm gonna still fix this, fix this up anyway. And this was a former rental from Blockbuster. It was purchased on April 5th, 2005, and this degree actually fell out, fell off the case. So I decided to place it in here. It used to be right there where that rest of it is. Everything else I bought from Walmart in Midland, Texas. Out of this, I've only seen Storks. The small fruit? No. And now I'm finally going to get to watch it. Now that I found a set. And I never had Storks in my collection. I rented a DVD copy of it from Redbox years ago. And I liked it. So this is a perfect set to pick up. So that's what I just did. The movies are on one disc. Okay. 
gonna have to watch this sometime after Christmas since I like the first movie. I probably might rewatch it again before watching this one. Here's the Blu-ray disc of artwork <coughs> and a DVD with a clear disc. Which at this point I got fingerprints on it, but I don't care. This is all I need, so no big deal. Here's the digital movie code. <coughs> if you want it. I'm not going to use it for Sony Rewards anymore. Now it's become this, which is pointless. Physical media is better. I have these two on Blu-ray and this on DVD, and this I have yet to get. I'm gonna see if I can find that movie during the Black Friday sale uh, in the next two weeks in my Walmart. Been looking everywhere for this, and I was not stuck in the security locks. Pretty happy to find this at long last. It took me a while to get this movie. Yeah, I probably know why at this point. Now the front looks different. You see, you can see. There's the digital movie code. Expires on September 30th, 2020. And before I end this video, I did order another VHS tape from eBay last night. And that's an extremely rare one. Might as well pull it off here right now. And I found it for very cheap too. Yep, the most rarest VHS of all time. And I found it for this price. And this is rare because not only it was the only copy available on eBay, I have a listing of it on Amazon saved on here. And wait till we see this. Should pull up right now. Out of stock. Yeah, so this tape is considered extremely rare. And I haven't even gotten the first two Todd World VHS tapes, which I'm going to try to buy those uh, on the 19th of this month. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, VHS DVD Blu-ray update for November 17th, 2019. And I will see you all in the next upload. That could be tomorrow. But we'll see. Other than that, this is Fabian's Media Corner 2001 signing out.